We are excited to create a full-cast, dramatized audiobook of our epic science fiction adventure, Caddo, Who Can You Trust? On Caddo, you will experience the indigenous cultures of telekinetic scorns, telepathic ancients from another dimension, and the small, fierce nerves, as well as the humans who have settled amongst them. These humans live a non-technological lifestyle in a feudal society that struggles with battles, political intrigue, and bigotry. There is also unrequited and forbidden love in a civilization facing a paradigm shift that will have you searching the truth of your own convictions. Here is a short sample of what you can expect in our audiobook. Held by Sigorn telekinetic power, the Nur Karen thrashed dangling in the air as he overlooked the parapet of Deontay's holding. How many soldiers and where are they now? Karen looked like he might refuse to answer the Sigorn Prince. The best I could tell, maybe 16, two on either side of the gate on the ground, probably waiting to jump us when we enter, and one at each of the parapets, several that appear to be hiding behind cover nearby the entrance. I don't know if any remain awake inside the buildings. Leave this to me. Tobin slid Barkothium spheres from their pouch on his belt. Tobin, this action is rash. Tobin gave his guardian a small, fierce grin. Trust me, I'll be in no danger. They'll be down before they can pose a threat. Taking three spheres in each hand, Tobin held his arms out shoulder height and palms up. After I take out the gate guards, you all come in. With that, he stepped through the gateway and stopped. The four soldiers saw the lone attacker and charged toward him. Running through! Cross that little vermin! You're a dead Nalidi! Tobin shifted his gaze from left to right as he again spoke a Sigorn prayer. Kersel, Karavis Nor, Nordbor, Ya! The three spheres in each hand rose off his palms and began spinning. What is he doing? Sigorn magic. Deontay doesn't pay me enough for this. No wrong. The guards stopped with surprised looks. Then fear crept across their faces, and one after the other, they dropped their weapons and ran for cover. The ball shot forward from his palms in either direction, faster than an arrow from a crossbow. The four men dropped seconds later with holes through their heads. <laughs> 